All right, in this video, we're going to look at uh, using the shell method. We're going to revolve a graph or about an axis or a line and uh, find the uh, volume of the solid of revolution. All right, so the shell method, we have V equals 2 pi times the integral A to B of P of X times H of X times DX. Okay, so uh, if you look at the figure I have drawn, here's, here's revolving a shell about the y-axis. See, we're, we're revolving it here. All right, so, so the P of X, that's the radius. That's the distance from the axis that you're revolving it around to the, uh, to the shell. Or well, you'll see when we graph them, it'll be a when we draw a rectangle. That's the radius from the axis to that to that rectangle or the edge of the shell here. And then h of x is the height of the shell. Okay. And then the dx that's the thickness, or delta x or dx. That's the thickness of the shell. All right. So let's look at an example. All right, it says find the volume of the solid of revolution formed by revolving the region bounded by y equals x minus x cubed and the x-axis from 0 to 1 about the y-axis. All right, so we want to draw a little sketch of the graph. And so to graph this, uh, well, if we plug 0 in for x, we know it goes through... 0, 0. And then if we plug the 1 in, well, 1 minus 1 is 0, so we know it hits here at 1. All right. And then, you know, to graph this, uh, if you remember your techniques from uh, Calculus 1, when you were graphing using the, uh, finding the max and min values where it's increasing, decreasing, concave up, concave down. You can do that to graph it. But the graph is going to look something like this. Okay. Alright, so we're going to revolve it about the y-axis. Now, when you're doing the shell method, when you draw your rectangle you want to draw your rectangle parallel to the axis that you're revolving it around. So our rectangle is going to look like this. Okay, and you know this is a little bit different than the than the 